Um, hurt? No. Surprised? Yes. Um, yeah, I, I think there's there's different things that um, you know play a factor into it. I've had conversations with his dad before, man to man, face to face, and uh, I was pretty surprised by the video. And one of the allegations uh, that that was made yesterday was that you're deliberately not throwing Odell the ball on purpose. <laughs> like, what do you what do you make of that? That's, that's, yeah, it's deliberately not throwing the ball to uh, an extremely talented player that I've uh, done a lot of work with is um, it's an opinionated statement. I'll say that. Interesting body language from Baker. Uh, Shannon, Odell mm. was also excused from practice today. What happens next? They're going to move on without Odell, mm. and they should. We talked about this offseason, Skip. We said they should move on from Odell. Yep. It hadn't worked. I don't believe that after, Skip, I mean, it doesn't take time. I, I get it. Okay, maybe it takes four or five games. Okay, maybe it takes a season. But we had seen two seasons, even though it was a shortened second season, we had seen, we saw that there was no chemistry between Baker and Odell. Okay, n move on. It's okay. It didn't work. There have been situations before where teams sign free agents, and for whatever reason, mm -hmm. the thing that I love about Mike Tomlin, Mike Tomlin says, look, you know what? It didn't work. I'm sorry that it didn't work for us and Melvin Ingram, but hey, there's a reason why we like to build through the draft. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine, it didn't work. Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Look. Skip, skip a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of teams. Yep. We sign a guy, we think it's going to work, it doesn't work. You don't hold on. That's the one thing I do like about Coach Belichick. Coach Belichick, you're not going to just sit right there, well, you know what, I made a mistake, and I'm going to keep you on the payroll because I made a mistake. Coach Belichick going to move on. Cut. Baby. He, he, yep. He's going to gonna move on. It's yep. as simple as that. And this is what they should have done with OBJ. I believe Baker Mayfield is surprised. I believe he's also hurt because, like he said, I've met this man's dad. I've had conversations with this uh, man's I, dad. I'm pretty sure they've had dinners together. Yeah. Yes. So, Skip, I, I, I'm sure he is both. But Baker said something very interesting that we didn't get. He says, you know, we still have guys like Jarvis that are team first guys. He didn't mention Odell. So he's, he, he speaks in that term like, okay, yeah, we got a lot of team first guys. The guy that y'all are talking about right now is not one of those guys. So for me, Skip, I, I think it's a no it's a no brainer now. It's it's over. Uh, 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 OBJ's tenure in Cleveland yep. is not going to continue. They sent him home yesterday for a reason, and because and Skip, we know this. I say, man, I don't know how he goes back in there because it's going to be very uncomfortable. Uh, the internet, the one thing about the internet, once there's something out there, it's out there forever. So things that they that was on the internet in 2009, you can go right back and pull it up. Yep. I just don't, I didn't know how it was going to work, Skip. I don't know how it was going to work because you know in a locker room when something like that happened, what is the other person thinking? Mm. That came from you, bro. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> that came from you, bro. You put your old man up to that. All right. So we have gone back and forth. You still believe in Odell. Yeah. I say he's declined to the point he's become far more trouble than he's worth. I still believe in Baker, and I believe that the irony of this situation was that in that first year, Baker went completely out of his way and overboard to force the football to an Odell Beckham Jr. He loved. He loved him off the field. He idolized him. He loved his celebrity. He loved to hang out with him. He right. loved to go out with him. And he loved throwing the football to Odell. And for whatever reason, he continued to force it maybe into double coverage. And it did not click from the start in ways that both of them badly wanted it to click. I don't know why. They just don't have on-field chemistry. That's the some do, some, some don't. don't. And his Baker's biggest problem going back to the first year was that he became so Odell-centric, Odell-conscious, that it was messing up the offense with all the other receivers. And it wasn't until, I'm knocking on wood for Odell, he got hurt yet again, and he's had nothing but, but injury after injury that I think has sapped some of his electricity from mm -hmm. his body. It finally happened at Cincinnati. He got hurt again. He was gone for the year, and Baker took off in ways I, you, you don't see it as taken off. But, but by his standards, as a still young quarterback, and he, he's had coordinator after head coach after coordinator, but he took off over the last 11 games last year. He was 20 touchdowns to three interceptions without Odell. They won eight games and lost three. They beat Pittsburgh, their arch rival at Pittsburgh, in a playoff game. And here we go into this year, and Odell's back. Not back from the start, but back all of a sudden mm -hmm. when they're starting to teeter, and it, it crumbled completely to the point 
that Odell became literally untradeable. That's all you need to know. I, I think they tried their behinds off to trade him for anything mm -hmm. for the seventh rounder you said that maybe somebody would give. And I think nobody wanted to give anything because they were going to have to pay him $8 million. And they see that his yards receiving yards per game have right. declined for four straight years. They look at Pro Football Focus, your favorite website. It, it now grades Odell the 64th best receiver in pro football, tied with Byron Pringle, Kansas City Chiefs. And in the end, it, they, they felt stuck with Odell. So so now, I, I said before the trade deadline, just just cut bait, just, right. just let him go, mm -hmm. and then, then it'll be a happier ending for everybody because then at least you, you'd feel good about let Odell go make his right, choice. He right. can go choose wherever choose he wants wherever to he land. Wants to go. Yep. Okay. I will raise one other possibility here because there's still a float in the AFC because everybody's still afloat in Correct. the AFC within their division. Pittsburgh is still fighting and Baltimore Cincinnati. still, uh, but, but I'm looking at Baltimore and Pittsburgh as two teams that could use Odell. Right. 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 Uh, you could argue, especially your Ravens, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. I think they're a little gun shy about just cutting bait right now because if he goes to Baltimore or Pittsburgh, maybe he would be rejuvenated. He have a new spirit of revenge, like I'll show you, and I don't think they want that to happen. So do you remember what happened to Terrell Owens once right. upon a time in Philadelphia? Yeah. They just paid him and to, to go home. Oh, right. Well, I think there's a distinct possibility that they're weighing that situation right now. Right. You, we've paid you. I think they've already paid him the eight million. You know, it's 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 what he's owed. But I mean, they're they're on the hook for it. Right. So they could just say, just enjoy yourself the rest of the year. But we don't need you. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can get away with that, as as far as I know. I think they did away with that for the T A. Uh, uh, actually. If I'm not either T.O. or the uh, uh, Keyshawn, because remember the Tampa Keyshawn, tried to do that it, to Keyshawn. It, it they did do it to him. And, and so Skip, I think I think okay, they changed maybe, the rule. I think I'm they not changed sure the rules how now. How far you can go with right. it? But it sounds like they're weighing that option yes. as we speak. So the point or is, or are they weighing some of the options that we can we can suspend him and find him for conduct detrimental to the team? Because of that video, because maybe. one would one would assume yeah. that was very detrimental. Skip, here's the thing. It would be one thing if two guys didn't get along, but there's great production. You're like, okay, we're going to find you $15,000, $20,000, mm -hmm. and we're going to move on. Shaq and Kobe didn't have the great relationship, but the production was undeniable. There's a reason why the Philadelphia 76ers are really trying to hold on to Ben Simmons. They don't get here, and Joel Embiid might not get along, but the production is undeniable, Skip, when you get the number one seat, when you make the seat. playoffs. I agree. So yep. in this situation, Skip, the production is not there nope. for you to want trying to keep this marriage together. Yep. So we, it's not like they built something where you're like, man, that's a dynamic duo there, man. How, I agree. How we gonna break that up? They have nothing to show. They have nothing no, to show no. for it. So mm -hmm. it would it would seem to me yep. it would be easier for Cleveland to want to move on, for Odell to want to move on, and we'll be happily we're happily apart. Yep. Then we, you know, again, I guess in the terms of uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, they'll be uncoupling. Mm. So, you know, they once a couple, Skip. That's deep. <laughs> they, they would be no longer a couple. Mm. And I, I, but, but what was Skip by holding on to him, Skip? Mm. You just mentioned 64th best receiver. That's not something that you hold on to. No. Nope. You just let it go. Give Odell a chance to go wherever he wants because if you release him, no one's gonna no one is gonna sign it because they would have to pick up the eight million. He would become a free agent and then he would be free to go to a situation that he would deem most beneficial to what he can provide. Okay. So bottom line to this is whether you love him or not, Baker Mayfield is still the franchise quarterback. Yeah, yeah. And you just heard him and you just saw, as Jenny alluded to, his body language. Right. He was blindsided by this right. because he thought he was at least friendly, if not friends, with right. Odell's father. Right. And this just came out of nowhere and knocked him over. Right. Wait a second. He put this up on the Internet? Yeah. Showing all the routes that Odell ran that I didn't throw him the ball. And then it took him a while to think through an answer about it. But he said, so you're, I'm paraphrasing his remark, but he said, you're, you're saying I deliberately decided not to throw the ball to an extremely talented player I've done all this work with. Right. He loved him. Right. No, that's not what happened. After a while, I'm sure Kevin Stefanski is saying, we can't force the ball to Odell. Right. It has to happen in the flow of yeah, the it's offense. Yeah, got to be organic, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then when he does throw the ball to Odell, we've got the two fourth down drops. We've got the pass you and I went back and right. forth on the mm -hmm. other day, down the stretch. Right. 
pass down to the five yard line in which I, I just thought Odell didn't make much of an effort for it. And now you got pouty body language. And in the end, you, you just say this situation just hit the wall. Right. So you, you have to undo it. And if I'm Cleveland, I don't worry about him coming back to haunt me because right. he's haunting me even more being right. with me. Right. Skip, here's I get Baker's quote. Baker said he talked to Jarvis and didn't want to draw a line between Jarvis and Odell. Then he mentioned that and Jarvis— remember, remember, they're best friends they're from, best from college. Yes. Right. He said Jarvis w just wants to win badly as I do. Those are the type of guys and the, the type of, of, of focus that we need to have right now. Those are the type of guys— that was it. That was it. He, sh he just told you between the lines what he's saying. Skip, I was always mindful. I used to tell my mom, I used to tell anybody that came and signed to the stands. Because, Skip, everybody knows where whose seats those are. Oh, you're here with Shannon Sharp. Yep. Oh, such and such. I said, be careful now. I said, because that's other people's family in this section also. You said he sucks. He does that. Now people are going to say, well, Shannon been saying that at home. So be careful. I, I, whatever you got to bite your tongue, keep yep. it up under your breath, because you're not finna come in here and cause this confusion yep. in the locker room. No. Nope. That's what just happened with Odell's dad doing that. Let's give Odell might have had nothing to do with that. That was might have been Odell's senior saying, I'm tired of this bull job yep. that y'all keep talking about my son can't play. Well, let me show you what my son been doing and what's been happening while my son's been doing it. Yep. That could have been the case. Could have been. But nobody will believe that. They can believe Odell put his dad up to that. They believe Odell put LeBron up to that. They that's would. just the, skip. That's just the way it works.